In the previous BI Bytes demo, I showed you an example of the Performance Point Services dashboard in SharePoint Server 2010. Now I'm going to show how to use Dashboard Designer to create one. Here in this workspace I have a data connection and I have a selection of performance point content. Now I can go to the Create tab and choose to create a new dashboard. I get given some templates to start myself off with. I'll leave it with this header and columns option. This provisions my dashboard and at the bottom I see a view of what's there. At the moment, nothing. On the right, I get this list of details I can use, grouped by scorecards, reports and filters. Here I have one scorecard, which I can drag into the left column to put into my dashboard. Similarly, I can choose a report, here I choose a chart, and drag into the right column. Now I have two items in my dashboard. I can connect the two together. In my scorecard, I have a load of fields to do with my KPIs. I can pick one of them up and drag it over to the right. This starts up this dialog to set the details of my collection. I can now match up the field I'd chosen, which was name, and match it to a field in the right. Here I have product name. So now I'll display this chart filtered by the product name field, so that the product name has to equal name. If the connection is not that simple, I can use the connection formula button to create a new rule. When I click OK, I have my connection. So it's quite straightforward to reuse my performance point content and have them interact with each other to create a dynamic dashboard.